Hello students, warm welcome to your social studies class. Today we will begin with unit 2, the world around us. Let's unlock the objectives. Our objectives for today are to use visuals to determine the meaning of the words and preview the content of the unit and to differentiate between absolute and relative location. Let's take a look at the vocabulary words that we will learn today. I would like you to repeat these words after me. The first word is location. Can you repeat after me? Location. Very good. Landform. Excellent. Region. Very good. Cardinal directions. Say that one more time. Cardinal directions. Very good. And finally, climate. We will learn what each of these mean. The first one is location. So what is location? Location is basically a place where something is. I'm sure you've overheard your parents or maybe some of your family members um, when they say come meet me at this place and somebody does not know how to get there. They say can you please send me the location on WhatsApp? Here's a classic example. You've ordered food from Talabat. Okay. And um, what does Talabat do? How does Talabat get to your house? Because they know your exact location. Okay, so the place where something is, is called location. Is that clear to you? Let's move on to the next vocabulary word, which is landform. So what is a landform? A landform is a kind of land with a special shape such as a mountain, hill or a plain. Okay, I'll show you pictures of the different kinds of landforms that you will learn about in social studies. Take a look at this. Now, I want you to know and I'm sure most of you already know, the landform of Qatar is a desert. Very good. Now, let's move region what is region it's an area of land with the same features region is an area of land with the same features. next one is cardinal directions now this is very very important for you to know and remember the main directions are north south east and west okay you need to know which side is north and which is south and which is east and which is west. And how will you know this? Have a look. On top is north. Opposite north is south. To your right is east and to your left is west. Now, how will we remember which side is north, south, east and west? I have a trick for you. The trick is naughty elephants squirt water. Have a look at this image. Okay, naughty elephants squirt water. So N for naughty, which is north, it comes right on top. E for elephants and also east, which comes to the right. S for squirt, which is also meaning south, it comes right below. And finally, W for water, which is also W for west, which comes to the left. So remember this trick to know where to place your north, east, south and west. The next word is climate. So what is climate? The kind of weather a place has over a long period of time is called climate. Now we move to Location in detail. Okay, so the map shows location or the place where something is. You have seen the sign before. Am I right? There are two 
two types of location that you should remember about. One is relative location. Now, who is a relative? Sometimes you come and tell me that Miss Yusuf is my cousin or Shekha is my cousin. So, cousins are relatives. He is my uncle. She is my aunt. It's a relative, right? Now, why am I giving you this example? We are going to use the same term to explain location. Okay. So, relative location tells what a place is near to. Okay. So, if you say that this person is my uncle, which means he is your mother's brother. So, if you have to tell me where is your school located, you will say my school is in Al Azizia and it is near Villaggio. So, Villaggio, you use that to explain that your school is near to. Or if I ask you where is Villaggio, you might tell me that Villaggio is near Aspire Tower. So you just explain to me relative location. I hope it's crystal clear to you now. So there you go. Here's an explanation of how somebody is trying to show where their classroom is. So then what is absolute location? Absolute location is your exact location. Imagine you order food from Talabat and it doesn't come to your house but goes somewhere else. No, right? When you order food or when you order for any online items, it comes straight to your home and that is your absolute location. So the absolute location is your exact location. For example, your home address is your absolute location. In this case here, Al-Wab Al-Mirkab Suites, okay, your home address. If you don't know, you ask your parents and come to class and tell me your absolute location. Don't worry, I will not visit your home. I just want to know if you know your absolute location. Now, I want you to open page number 12 in your practice books and try to complete it. It's very, very simple. If you're not able to complete it, we will do it together in class. That's all for social studies lesson today. Thank you and have a beautiful day ahead. Bye-bye.